Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our Yahoo web hosting account. As you can see, we've already opened the Getting Started email, and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the web hosting homepage. As we already signed into our Yahoo account to access the Getting Started email, there's no need to sign in again. We'll just simply use the Access Your Account link to access the web hosting control panel. And here you can see the Yahoo web hosting control panel. We'll click on the Create an Update tab. We'll scroll down to Blog Tools and click on the link for WordPress. And here you can see the form we'll need to complete in order to install WordPress. We'll begin by entering login information. We'll select a username and a secure password. We'll confirm the password and enter our email address. Actually, this is an email address on our new test site, so we'll only enter the username part. Step two is to choose a home page for our new WordPress installation. As we would like to use WordPress as the content management system for the entire site, we will leave the default checked here. Make my blog my home page. Next is to choose a location for your WordPress files, as Yahoo does not permit you to install WordPress into the root directory. You must select the directory name or select a pre-existing directory in which to install WordPress. While it does say here ncmtest01.com/blog and it will install into a folder named blog, it will also appear as the home page. So if you were to go to ncmtest01.com, you would be able to see the home page of our WordPress installation. So we'll leave the default. Step four is to accept the license agreement. We'll check that box off. And then finally, we'll click the activate button. We'll wait patiently. And the message tells us that WordPress was successfully installed. The message tells us to begin working on your blog, choose one of the following links. Edit blog settings, add a post, view your blog. As we would like to look at the WordPress dashboard, we'll go to Edit Blog Settings. Next, we'll log into the WordPress dashboard using the username and password we just created. And here you can see our brand new WordPress dashboard. From this screen, we can control all aspects of our WordPress site. To create a new post, we simply go to plus, new, post. We add a title for our post here. We add content here. Click the publish button. But we won't be creating a new post today. We're simply going to take a look at our new WordPress site by using the visit site link at the top of the dashboard. And here you can see our new WordPress site. We can change the look by selecting a different theme using the dashboard. We can also use the dashboard to delete the default Hello World post. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM Online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.